so now we are going to talk about what is placentation placentation is in flowering plants placentation is the attachment of ovules inside the ovary the ovary inside of flowers the ovules inside of flowers ovary are attached via funiculus funiculi in plural the uh, plant part equivalent to a umbilical cord the placentation can be defined as an organ formed by sustained fusion of fetal membranes and parental tissue for psychological exchange in plants the placenta is defined as a part where the ovary attaches to the funicle funiculus so now types of placentation there are six types of placentation in angiosperms name namely on the position of where they attach to the ovules that is marginal placentation then parietal placentation axile placentation basal placentation free central placentation and superficial placentation now starting on marginal marginal placentation marginal placentation the placenta forms ridges along the ventral structure of the ovary the ovules are born on this ridge forming two rows and this is found in leguminous plants for example grams peas and beans so as you can see here so uh, this is the ventral structure along which the uh, ovules are attached to and they form uh, form alternately on each of the two ridges which gives which gives us two rows then the next one is parietal placentation now in parietal placentation the placenta is situated on the meeting of two margins of subsequent carpels which may be two or more in number in this type of placentation the ovules develop on the inner wall of the ovary the ovary has a single chamber but appears to be double chambered because of the formation of a false septum called the replum this is found in plants of the family cruciferae such as mustard and argimon in which even cucumber is also there then the next one axile placentation in axile placentation the ovules are born at or around the center of the multi chambered ovary multi locular on an axis formed from the joint septa axile placentation is found in plants of family solaceae example lady's finger and tomato as you can see here this is the septa around which all the seeds or rather the ovules are attached to then the next one is basal placentation in basal placentation the placenta is situated at the base or the bottom of the ovary and a single ovule is born on it this is found in the family of compositae example sunflower and marigold so this is an example of the ovary this is the ovule and this is where the placenta is attached to so the next one is free central placentation the placenta arises from the base of the ovary and the ov ovary is unicellular that means it has no septum ovules arise from the central axis and it is found in plants such as primula or primus so as you can see here this is the uh, diag diagram of free central placentation so the last one is superficial placentation now in superficial placentation the ovules arise from the inner wall of the septa in a multi locular ovary this uh, an example of superficial placentation would be in water lily So as you can see in this diagram, each of these are locules, and on the inner walls of each of the locules, the ovaries are attached. The ovules are attached. Thank you.